A young dolphin swam along. He moved between the rays of sun beaming down, gliding from one to the next, winding an unusual path through the open waters. He made his usual route, more or less, into shallower waters to dig in the sands and around the rocks for food. Having passed over a colorful outcrop of coral, he noticed a shadow crossing the sand coming towards him. Mesmerized by the strange sight, he floated in place the best he could against the current. It wasn't long before the shadow met his own and he felt this sudden bonk to the top of his head. He flicked his tail in surprise, sending him reeling to the side. Shaking off the shock, he looked back just in time to see a book settling into the rocks, wedging between two pieces of coal. He swims up to it, and the book moves. He pauses. The hard cover of the book now knocks against the coal, having been thrown open by the current. He watches. Another wave rolls by, and the pages of the book shift. With the next wave, they turn. Swimming towards it again, he finds the pages full of words. Large handwriting and dark ink covered the page, and topped it with a large Roman numeral one. He began reading about a man sitting at a table in a great hall surrounded by family and servants. The shifting waves flipped the page again, and he learned this man was a prince at a royal dinner with men and women from the neighboring kingdoms. Finishing the page, he had to wait a moment, but as he thought, a larger wave eventually rolled by and it turned again. The people at the dinner discussed his potential rise to the throne and the arranged marriage between one of the other kingdoms to grow their influence. The waves continued rolling in, continuing the story, and as they rolled out, threatening to turn the page back, but never quite able to. He read of the prince's travel to the neighboring kingdom to meet his new wife, and the rather silent first meeting at dinner surrounded by parents and royals chattering away. Rarely a strong current would flip the pages too fast to catch. Frustrated at first that he never knew how the prince and princess ended up at the fountain at night, he presumed he simply came to her room and asked for some time with her away from the noise of royal courts. Unfortunately, the waves only grew stronger and he found himself missing more and more of the story. The princess's father had gone missing. Who took him? Someone against the marriage? Suddenly, the prince and princess were in a castle, sneaking by a throne room and taking down guards. Was this done by one of the other kingdoms? There was a man at the dinner who seemed too excited about this marriage. Maybe he was covering up for his true worries about the alliance? Was this a last ditch effort to harm the reputation and morale of his enemies? Next thing, the king lay back in his own bed. He never spoke or moved, but the people around him all spoke of worrying things. About the marriage and what could happen if he passed before anything was official. The dolphin had been so captivated, the only thing that pulled him out of the story was the occasional need to fight a strong wave. At least, until he noticed one of the words on the page was just a smudge. Glancing further down, more of the words were just black blobs on the paper. In fact, all the words had begun to look as though they were blurry. A wave pulled back another page and he began to read quickly. Gathering what he could, he moved more frantically waiting for the next wave to wash overhead and reveal the next part. The same strong waves that pushed the story ahead too fast were now taking forever to continue it. With each one, he got less and less of the story, the words disappearing, but the characters continuing on with their lives, their wedding planning, their worrying, their late nights of comfort and conversation. Suddenly, the young dolphin was torn away from the book, he found himself rolling to the side, taken with the strongest wave yet. He righted himself as quickly as possible and swam back to the book. Black water hung around the pages. Nothing but smears marked them now. But what happened? Had the king survived? Had the marriage gone through? Had the man from the dinner tried to stop it again? Had they even figured out it was him? Was it even that man that did it? The dolphin thought back and tried to remember. Had he made that part up? No, they had raided his castle with pictures of him and his family all over the wall. Right? He couldn't remember. If it was him, surely they caught him. They must have. The king must have survived. He had to be there for his daughter's wedding day. Yes, the king lived and was front and center, beaming a big grin at the wedding. The dolphin imagined the beautiful wedding decorations, the giant cake, the table full of food that must have been... Food. The dolphin's thoughts turned to his stomach. He had forgotten he had come here for food. Beginning his search to help his own hunger, his mind couldn't help but wander back to the prince and princess, riding away in a lovely carriage. 
The bad man, sitting in the dungeons of the castle, listening to the cheering of the celebration, his plans to ruin a kingdom had failed. He imagined a happy ending.